today's video I'm gonna do a few hairstyles just to show y'all how you can you know style and jazz up your braids what's up YouTube fam my name is Nicole if you're new to my channel hello welcome I do a lot of hair tutorials so in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm going to show y'all how I style my jumbo knotless braid just a few different styles you could wear throughout the week just to like switch it up you know make the hairstyle more versatile a video ago I posted how I actually put these in how I actually mix the color to achieve like this mixed blonde color I couldn't really find that um, many videos on this so I was like let me record it and then also when you go to the gallery to get your hair braided they usually charge a surcharge like an upper price for mixing the color because it's actually a pretty tedious process it's not you know it's time consuming not tedious but time consuming so if you want to see how I did it check out the video I'll link it above so you can check that out but today's video I'm gonna do a few hairstyles just to show y'all how you can you know style and jazz up your braids let me stand up so I can show y'all in case you didn't catch the tutorial it is these braids come down to almost my knee you can't even really you can't even really see how long it is but I'm 5'10 and they come down almost to my knee so let me raise them up like this so you can see how long they are Okay, so style number one, obviously you can just wear them straight down. You can wear them to the front when you wear them down, one side to the back. Excuse my double chin. both sides to the back so even just wearing them down is versatile so first you know you can just wear them down just give y'all a couple little moments so I wanted to pause this video real quick and say if you're watching this video hit the subscribe button I think it's red click it even if you don't be on YouTube like that even if you just wanted to see this one little tutorial or just discovered this video just click subscribe because it helps me helps me reach my subscriber like goals whatever and you never know like you might want to see something or might be interested in something that I post in the future so yeah just subscribe to my channel and then hit the little bell so you can be notified when I do post so you can be like hmm let me check out see what she posted type of thing and hit the like button too because it gets me higher up in the algorithm and then or just leave me a comment so I can like know what your you know what you thought about this video okay all right let's get back here's our number two we're gonna do a half up half down why not so I have 12 braids in my hair from the tutorial. I think I'm gonna do four up. So one, two, three, four, and then let's see. Hmm. Actually, let me start with just two, and then two. Okay, three and four. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna just do four out of the 12 because these are super long. So I'm just gonna grip it and I'm not using any, for the, these hairstyles, I'm not using any like scrunchies, any pins, anything. I'm just simply using the braids. So we're gonna take this, once we grab our four braids and we're just gonna wrap Try to make it neat or whatever. And I didn't test these hairstyles before I filmed. I just was like, I'm gonna film. So we're gonna see how this bun looks. And I don't think I like this bun. So we are going to do the first four and we might only need these 
so I'm gonna do I'm not gonna wrap it as tight but I'm gonna do these are very long okay yeah so we just gonna do these get this one here and then if pieces come down you just wrap it back around and like I don't need any scrunchies or pins or anything because the braids are like super secure because it's enough hair. So I'm just going to do that at the top. See if it's even. I think it is even. So we just, we have those up. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have eight down and four up. All right, and so this is it. Just half up, half down, and then I think we're going to spray some of this finishing sheen for braiders. It's shining jam. Very similar to your regular like oil sheen, but I like it. Spray the roots. This hairstyle does get old pretty fast because it's jumbo. And then y'all know not this braids get old very fast regardless. So I'm going to spray this and then you need your edges. I'm sorry. You need your edges done to look like it's complete for me anyway so y'all see here my edges aren't terrible but i want so i'm gonna use this shining jam that i use for my rays and i'm just gonna use a toothbrush i do have like a edge brush but i'm gonna just use a toothbrush so i'll go like that a little bit and okay disclaimer my nails are chewed and i know that it's really <laughs> ridiculous but i'm going to be getting them done soon life has just been life and so i haven't had a chance to go so if y'all see that don't judge me my channel is a no judgment zone so yeah my, my loyal subscribers who've been there with me for a minute know that my channel is a no judgment zone i don't care if i'm doing a beauty hair video makeup or if i'm just looking rough doing my home diy projects no judgment zone regardless so i'm gonna take this toothbrush and i ain't gonna do nothing fancy I'm just gonna like sleek it a little bit. Let's see if y'all can get that. I'm just gonna sleek it a little bit so it's looking. Make sure y'all can see that. Like that. Get a little more. I like to put my sideburns down a little bit. I just go on my finger and make sure the gel is. Like it's supposed to. Let me put a little bit right here. So y'all see how that? Boom. Just made it look so much fresher. Okay. I think I'm going to do some here. Do a little bit here. Just to make it look a little, a little bit fresher. I ain't going to do nothing too crazy. When it gets a little more... When it gets a little older, then I'll do some, you know, crazy swoopy swappy edges. But right now it's just about polishing up the look a little bit. Polishing it up. A little sideburn action over here. A little bit ain't gotta be too much. I'm trying to use my monitor to see because it's really hard to see. But yeah, just make sure you get all the all the front, you know, the edges or the front braids too that just need a little bit polishing. And I'm gonna do just a little bit right here. Just tuck that under. It's giving, it's giving one of those girls who, you know, those Badu inspired girls, you know. This is my vibe for the day when I want to wear like, I'm eclectic, you know, poetry, poetic, 
that type of vibe. And I'm just gonna spray some more. My edges feel like they look a little dry. And so this is hairstyle number two, or way number two that you can wear your knotless sprays, your jumbo knotless sprays. I'm really loving the blonde. Let me know if y'all think I should do more blonde hairstyles or stick to my jet black. kind of cute make sure y'all follow me on instagram if you're not already at i nicole it's linked in my youtube profile so you can see my portraits any pictures i post this is hairstyle number three okay, let's just do the face framers with a half up half down so i got two face framers in the front then i got three and three so six seven eight and then th what three more in the back one two four five six all right we got two in the front one two three four okay two in the front six right here for the like top half oh i got so many ideas okay so we're gonna do these face framers we got a few in the back my hair is like coming out a little bit but so we gonna actually do like a high ponytail. Actually, we gonna do. All right, we gonna let's let's do this first. So hairstyle number three is gonna be the two face framers, a bun, and then some in the back. So let's do that. We are gonna just take all of it, and then we gonna just wrap and wrap and wrap and as I twist I try to like pull the, the hair up so that it's not like this one wide bun it's just like going up okay that's what I'm going for and it don't have to be perfect you know all right so we got a bun at the top nice and secure because we wrapped it real good we got two face framers in the front and then we got our little four pieces out in the back and i might have to redo this braid later because it's just my hair is so freshly cut it's just coming out on some parts in the back okay so this is number three i think we're on i think it's cute i always live for a good face framing face framing hairstyle Not only that, when you, you notice when I put my hair in a bun of any sort, I don't know about the last one, maybe it wasn't tight enough, but the, it raises your eyebrows so it looks a little more snatched. Like, whoosh. So, hairstyle number three. Like, hey girl. Kitchen, put a little little gel in the kitchen area. And then brush it. Can you see what I'm doing? You know, just so your edges look a little in the back, ain't neglected. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just, you know, sleek it down a little bit. I'm gonna take a selfie. The 
face frame. Okay. So we're gonna move on to hairstyle number four. So I'm loving the face framer. So we're gonna keep the face framers out and then we're gonna take all of the back and we're gonna do a high ponytail. Just put all that. Okay, we're gonna put it all up and then we're gonna take one from like the middle slash back. And we're gonna use this to wrap gently, but securely. And then I'm gonna wrap it up so it gives that high ponytail look. And then I'm gonna wrap it back down to secure it. It's giving part shenane. So I'm gonna take half of the half of one side except for the face framer and we're gonna do we're gonna twist it out a little bit because I want it to come out a little bit and then we're gonna wrap it down twist and wrap it down and these gonna be a little tough because you want them to be even Twist and wrap around, wrap and down, and down. And this is where you just tighten it. Keep going until it's secured. This is a heavy one, y'all. This is my little hair. This my hair is sticking up. So for the purposes of this, we're gonna just tuck that in. Okay. You want to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to try to get it as similar as possible. So we're going to hold it up. We're going to twist. I can't really remember which way I twist it. But we're going to twist up. Actually, I think I want to twist up this way. It's a little more comfortable. And then we're going to, once you get it up a little bit twisted, then we're going to twist and start twisting down. I hope this turns out a little symmetrical. Good thing is we got the same amount of hair on each side, so should be pretty symmetrical. Okay, just keep twisting and pulling around and twisting and pulling around until we get it all secured. Is it pretty? I think it's a symmetrical enough. Okay, and this is, oh, I thought I had a braid in the back. So this is the last and fifth, I think, in lifestyle. I think this is cute. I can rock with this. Not as heavy as I thought. I feel like for this one, you want a little bit more dramatic baby hairs. And I don't want to really take my hair out yet for baby hairs. So I'm just going to try to like, and um, I'm 
scoop a little bit. Same on this side, brush it down. Just a little bit, cause I don't wanna pull too much hair out. It's so hard to see. This shiny jam is a little too thick for baby hair manipulation. Okay. Look at this. You know what I'm gonna do with here for the back, these little curls? I'm gonna just swoop it around a little bit. See how this look in the back. Slow. Okay. <laughs> nice and secure. I like this. this might be my favorite one. All right, this might be my favorite of the five ways to wear your knotless braids, your jumbo knotless braids. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If y'all think this was y'all favorite, which one was y'all favorite one? Let me know. I think this is like super cute. Super cute. It's definitely giving, I want the attention when I'm out type of vibe. Cause it's like big and dramatic, so. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video guys. I will see you in my next video. Hopefully it's a hair tutorial. Most likely it's a hair tutorial. So see you, bye.